Hello, my name is Jason Miller with Aspen Now Solutions, where we unlock the power of ServiceNow. I'd like to thank everyone for subscribing. We're up to 113 subscribers. Really appreciate it. Uh, my goal by my birthday, which is in March, uh, is to have 1,000 subscribers. So I'm asking all of you who are watching this to please subscribe and have all your coworkers, um, friends, family members, whomever it is to subscribe to this channel. Um, the reason I'm asking for that is because I can't monetize this channel until uh, I have that thousand subscribers and there's also a certain amount of hours watched. And I haven't worked for like the last three months, so income um, would definitely be appreciated. Also, if you'd like to uh, contribute to the channel, uh, you can click on About, and then here's all my wallet information right here. So um, moving on, this is my LinkedIn page. And uh, this is who I am, and if you want to connect with me, um, feel free to. Um, I'm more than happy to help you out, um, maybe get connections with other people. Um, I know that there's a lot of recruiters that are uh, recruiting me lately. Um, unfortunately, nothing's panned out, but um, I could also help you too. So feel free to, uh, to connect with me on LinkedIn. And to move on to the topic for today, we're going to be talking about SLA workflows. So I create an SLA definition called SLA workflow, and we're going to create what I call a critical priority workflow, or you could call it a priority one workflow. Um, this is going to be uh, right here, the definition to, priority is one to uh, trigger the SLA, but what the workflow controls is the notification for your warnings for breach and your breaches. So I'm going to show you how to set this up um, because one of the things I've encountered is that execs will say to me or managers will say, you know, I didn't get the SLA notification until like really late in the process and there's nothing I could do about it. So as I like to say, there's one thing you cannot borrow in life and that is time. So time is critical. So what I did was I took this default SLA workflow and I added a couple of conditions here and notice I created the uh, notify assignees manager. Now that really wouldn't happen until 75 per, or excuse me 100 percent already was exhausted. So um, in response to that I'm going to show you how to create this workflow. So first thing I did was I set up uh, an if statement for uh, this part of the workflow because what I figure is a manager will know that a critical incident opened probably because you know the, most organizations set up ServiceNow that way. However, the reason why this is important is because they're not going to know from an SLA perspective what's going on, so they're going to have to drill into the record, and this saves them time because they'll have this notification to tell them from an SLA perspective, you're already 25%, 50% in there. So uh, you can, you know, maybe contact the assigned to um, and ask him what, or her what's going on. So, um, excuse me, uh, we're going to move over here to the P1 SLA workflow. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to recreate it um, in here, and I'm going to show you how I did this if statement, for example. So the first thing I did was I said, okay, we need a condition just for the priority ones. So uh, I'm moving very quickly today, I see going to load. There should be a condition here. There we go. So I did a condition of task.priority is one. And what that is, it's a dot walk, right? So you've probably seen some of the other videos. Uh, there's one where I, uh, there's a video where I um, demonstrate how to create SLAs efficiently. Um, and also I think dot walking is in there. So remember that if you're going to dot walk, you have to show the related fields. And then after that, uh, this will change a little bit. So you're going to see these like the task with the arrow to the task fields, and then we would find priority, and then we can select is one. So that makes things pretty easy, right? Okay. So um, moving on, the next thing that I created, and really I didn't even create anything, what I did was I just copied this event right here. So I double clicked on create event, and then I did a copy activity. I'm going to see a pop-up right here, and then, you know what, I can even 
I don't even need to mess with the P1 SLA workflow. You know what? I'm going to do it in the defaults and keep the default the same way. Now, remember, you could create another workflow if you wanted to. It just depends on uh, you know, what your preference is. So I'm going to have this notify assignees manager right here. Then I'm going to say, look, this is normal, right? Not part of the repair process, I guess. And then I'm going to copy this one, too. Copy activity. And we're going to line it up. And you know what? I made a little mistake there because it needs to go here first. And then if it's yes, we're going to notify the manager. And if no, no big deal. We don't have to do anything. And then, one, and you know, this gets a little bit uh, busy, if you, if you will. Um, so I'm going to move this over, try to make it as nice as I can. And then it's going to go down here to this join function. Okay, so we have it right there. So the manager will get a notification. Now, let's take a look at our events. Um, so we have, uh, or excuse me, our notifications. So we have a notification here. Um, this is, and I put try this in here so that way I know it's the first one. Um, in the what it will contain tab, uh, this is basically your, your email template. Um, and then you have like a text template down here. So here we have our SLA warning, the, uh, the lapse percentage, the business elapsed percentage, and then I put it in the task assigned to because I know if I'm, you know, when I was a manager, I want to know who's on it so I can contact them and say, hey, do you have this or do you need more support? Um, then uh, let's, let's take a look at some of the other tasks before we move on. We have the when to send here, and this is based off an event. So that event in the workflow that we just looked at, and I'll let you rewind to it if you like. Um, uh, is SLA.warning. So that's for um, the assigned to. And then there's a different one, <clears throat> a different notification called SLA breached. Now that was when the manager was supposed to get involved. But what we said was, look, we, it's fine that he gets notified when it's, or she gets notified when it's breached. But in this um, scenario, we want to leverage this that, you know, because it's already created. So we want to leverage it um, and other uh, parts of the workflow too. So not just when it's breached. So we could rename if we want or just keep it the same. The main point is, is that it's in the workflow for us. And then as you'll see here, the who will receive, we're going to have the task assigned to and the manager, right? So, um, excuse me, the task assigned to dot manager is who's going to receive this. So um, in this case, I added some stuff to the message. I wanted to have, um, the, this message was blank before, so I added that. Now, one thing to consider is that you, know, you have to have the manager populated in the user profile. So I went to Abraham Lincoln, and I added the manager field on this uh, user form that wasn't there before, and I populated my name in there. So I will get um, a notification um, if good old Abe here um, doesn't respond in time. So 50%, I'll get a, um, a notification and then 25 after that, and then 25 after that. So that's 100, I think, if we go back here. Uh, and you could change these if you wanted to also, right? So you could double click on this, and uh, this percentage here, you could change this if you want to. You can make it 33%. Now, um, now that we're on that topic of percentages, um, follow me on this one. So I had this problem. <clears throat> A user came to me, or a customer came to me and said, hey, I think there's something wrong with your notifications because, look, I'm not getting these things um, and as fast as I should. And also, it says on there that more time has been uh, breached or more a, a, a higher percentage has been achieved towards the breach um, than should be because this thing should alert me when there's 50% of the SLA already gone. I said, fine, okay, but you know, how long is that SLA? Told me it was 10 minutes. Well, okay, great, it's 10 minutes, but here's the issue with, with 10 minute SLA. So you have 50%, uh, which is gonna be five minutes, but the manager or whoever, whomever it is, the person getting notified, is not probably gonna get it until 70% on that. And the reason why is because it has to hit the server and then spit it out to the email. So you're probably talking at least two minutes there. Um, Unless you're like a high frequency trader and you operate your servers operate at that speed, um, it's probably not going to happen in a picosecond, if you know what I mean. So um, that's one thing to consider too. 
and I, I tell people about this, like when they're putting in these really aggressive SLAs, hey, just make sure that you know what you're getting into because if you put a 10 minute SLA on it, your notifications aren't gonna happen um, you know, set up under this model until 70 percent is already burnt. So um, getting back to this, the manager field, I believe I already said this was not here on the form, so you'll have to add it. And the way you do that is just right click, configure form design, and then you would add the manager slot over there. In fact, you know what? I, I, I found that there's a lot of forms here that are missing things that are, are real hid, hidden gems. So I might just do a segment on form design at some point. All right, so let's go to the incident. I've already created this, I tested it out, but we're gonna do a copy incident on this. Uh, let's see here, what do I want to do? I wanna save this? Oh, I can save this one, I think. No, hold on here. I'm going to do copy incident. This one already triggered. Okay, and now I'm gonna put IVIP, and I'll put Abe in there. So I'm not being assigned anything. And we'll hit save. And let's go ahead and take a look at our SLA definition. Oops, sorry, wrong tab. So this is saying four minutes. I did it four minutes because, as you know, I like to do these segments very quickly so that way you don't have to waste your time with them. So uh, we're probably going to get this, um, let's see here, two minutes. We might actually, it might be breached by the time we, uh, we get the first um, SLA notification. So what we can do is we can go to the incident and let's scroll on down here. So here's SLA workflow, it's in progress. And yep, four minutes, all right, until the breach time. And now this is gonna tell us, okay, here's your business elapsed time, here's your business time left. Um, remember uh, what the difference is between business and actual. And if you don't, then I'll let you refer to my other videos. Um, but it has something to do with the schedule, let's just put it that way. So this thing's running now. Let's go to my email box. Uh, let's see if this updates soon. It'll pop in here. Um, so as you can see here, the try this SLA warning, it worked before. And I'm just gonna open it up and show you a little bit about um, what I mean about the actual elapsed percentage for this one. So 50%, but I didn't get until 55%. So basically the timestamp on the server said, you're already 55% in the hole. Then I got it at 80, and then I got it at 105. So that's one thing to be cognizant of um, when you're setting these up, is that this actual elapsed percentage is not going to be 50 on the dime, because there's that, there's a little bit of, uh, you know, what we would call in the, uh, in the trading business a slippage. So you're, you're probably going to have that there. So we'll just, uh, we'll wait there for a second for this to come back, um, and then it'll be sent to us. Um, and one thing I really wanted to hammer home here is that when you're, um, uh, creating these workflows or changing them up, make sure you make a copy of them um, because that way you'll have one on the side and you know if you have to revert back to the default one or the one out of the box, um, you know it can be a little bit cumbersome and difficult sometimes to get rid of all this stuff. So, and you know what, I'll leave it, um, if I wanted to, I can make a copy of this right now and I'm just gonna type in Jason's SLA workflow. Now remember that if you're an admin, you can test this when it's checked out, but if you're not, then you're gonna have to check it back in. Let's see if we got anything here. I'm going to reload this. All right, I wonder if this is working or not at this point. Um, okay. Let's see where we are, the, the incident here. And it might actually be close to breach. And if we wanted to check, and that's a good point, right? So like, let's say we're testing this thing out and we wanna see um, what what's going on with it. Uh, we could go to, I believe it's outbound. Yeah, let's go to our system outbound box. Okay, so this is outbound. And we see our two different warnings here. And also we could say sent. Um, yeah, it's for 33. It says it was sent. So it's probably, oh, here we go. Great. Popped in here. So this is telling me that SLA uh, for this number um, looks like we're at 51%. So a little bit better performance on this one. 
and it, let's see, it's a tap, it's assigned to Abe. And just look at this though. If I wanted to contact Abe, would I have that information right here? Imagine if I was looking at it on the phone and I'm running an enterprise of 50 people. You should probably put a little bit more in here because it's, it's only text. Um, so it probably won't be that heavy, but you know, these emails will stack up and I guarantee you most managers will say, you know what, I, I don't really want to have too much information, but here are the critical things that I want in there. Um, I don't want my email box slammed with these things. So that's another point um, to consider when you're setting these up. Again, my name is Jason Miller. I am the founder of Aspen Now Solutions, and we just unlocked the power of ServiceNow. Thank you and have a great day.